Alright, here we go. Uh, plan, don't lose the wounded units by, because we just don't need them keep by keeping them back. This is the kind of point where uh, I really wish the auto-resolve also had a way to just say, and not during an ambush, but for a non-ambush, to be like, I want these three units to just hang back and not fight at all, and assume they're always running away, basically. They're gonna wait for reinforcements, that's fine. I'm not gonna let them wait for reinforcements, that's also fine. Okay, you're gonna chill back here. That should be plenty to win. <coughs> Got our source to back us up. And our heroes. Right now he has 50-60% uh, resistance to the missiles that they're going to shoot here. Try the curse of the midnight one here. What else is sort of drop a comet on the heads there? So we're at seven. We did about another five or six K damage there, not bad. <laughs> what do you 
get out of there. You're getting banged up a bit. Army loss has got to be soon, though. Only one that got banged up a bit is that one's over there. In theory, he should fire. away we will have to fight so we do want to fight whatever we can I don't think I timed that well yeah no that, that's timing is definitely off Hungry. We lost nine Saurus, and of course our wizard lost, I guess, a third of his health compared to the before the battle. No problems at all. <coughs> Sorry, Dunk. healing do we get there? 10%? I'll take it because some units are a little hurt. So he's supposed to have two settlements left. Let's see where the other one is, I guess. Hundred and forty three lost. Well I guess I should have fought that manually, oh well. <coughs> oh he has that over there, okay, dark hold. We'll heal. We have six percent from that and the other fun stuff and all that, so it's it's fine. A little annoying, but it's fine. Okay. You're not able to move. I think this was the end of a turn, right? No, no. Well, he's ambushing up there because these armies, this army is... That looks like it healed. Okay, yes, this must have been last turn. And then, yeah, we're gonna get a Pyrrhic victory where we lose stuff, and we don't really want that. So, instead, we are going to... Bring in this army. And now gives us a decisive victory, much better. And we 
don't have more capacity for Sarah Scar veterans, so we're going to delete that. Besides, we want money. Remember our, our kind of rule there. And we're going to head down so we can take plane of Tuskars next. Tuskers, Tuskers with this next turn. Then we'll be able to head back north and continue conquering over here. Now he's liking us, but he's not interested in confederating yet. Though if he does, then we might have a war with Teclis. Perhaps it was inevitable. <coughs> and we took this. We got a Saurus Scar veteran. We were working on a Skink Chief up here. That's right. And... Eventually, we're going to want a skink priest for his army, but I don't know when exactly that's going to be no. possible to do looking at this. <coughs> we got our money, most important thing. So we could grab this, that'll give us another skink priest capacity, because we know that's something we want. And that'll actually give us another star, star veteran capacity, yes, yes. Bumping these up again, more income. We got the star chamber done, which means we can get interpreting the old one's meaning soon. <coughs> so we're going to get marching. And all that looks bad. Vampire corruption is not going down the fastest. Okay, so let's think about this. Well, I have five turns. So I'll get... <coughs> Next turn it'll be negative 48, and it'll be going down by 13. So then it'll be negative 61. So then it'll be going down by 9. So then it'll be at negative 70. Then it'll be going down by... Six, I think, at that point. So then, Nick, no. That has to hit 75 first. So it'll be going down to eight. So negative 78. It should stabilize. Okay, we, and then the corruption will go down. I think this will stabilize. Worst case, we stop collecting income for one turn. But it should work out. <coughs> Especially if we can get some more public order bonuses or control bonuses. And we are busy prepping this army down here because we're afraid we may have to go to war. This might be a good place to actually recruit from. Um, I am considering actually changing that here. <coughs> I think I am. I'm going to make this a recruitment center. Now they got that up to level 4, level 5 is less urgent, but we'll, it'll still work. We need to get like the geomantic web stuff working properly here. Okay. Du, 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 du. Yeah, if we set, so basically, once this, we can set this up to be able to recruit Saurus here, and we can give it other useful things. So, set that up with another lodestone, so we'll have two capacity, three, four, five... From this, I guess. And if we have five and we toss in some heroes, I guess that works. Or we can get, like, one global recruitment unit, one or two, for during that time. That'll work. Okay, let's do that. This is not actually giving us hero capacity yet, but since we're I'm worried we're going to have to deal with Teclis, I'm going to shift this down a bit. Remember, our first priority tends to be what will give us money. So we're going to be looking for that first, still. There's money. The reason, of course, you improve the money first, because then it gives you more money to improve other things. You're ambushing, yes, yes, that's fine. So we're going to give you a Scar Veteran. You're going to get a Scar Veteran. We're going to give you two Scar Veterans, I guess. 
No particular reason other than he's by himself. Poor guy. Doesn't have his dino buddies with him. I should have gotten the, uh, the jungle dominion thing there. We do have some SARS that are higher ranked, but it doesn't really matter. We'll get it next level. Right, agility of the lizard. Eventually we're going to be able to recruit skinks at crazy high levels, but that's, you know, down the line. I kind of like the hands and penetrable belt pelt for 24 melee defense. It's overcast. Might be useful. Let's get the arcane conduit first, though. Okay. Uh, anything useful we can do over here. Father Gash wants to be our friend. Itza does not want to be our friend, mainly because the U.S. has been their main threat. Partially, at least, due to that. That's that's the only reason why. Okay, they, yeah. Lizard men tend not to get along, and I guess the right basis is they differ in how they interpret the old one's plan, and if they agreed, then they wouldn't be separate factions in the first place. Something like that. Anyway, we're doing pretty decent so far, and once Krokgar's army heals up, we're gonna want to be able to do some of his quest stuff. If we're able to confederate tic tac toe, then maybe, uh. I can, like, bribe Techless to be his friend or something? I don't know. Hi, Ark in the Black. We're not on the same side, sorry. Well, Lord Zero One, I guess, can go eliminate that. Uh, we're gonna heal anyway, so, I mean, 210 gold is 210 gold, I guess. We could trade, declare war. No real surprise there, we are fighting the Cult of Sigmar. Well, Greece has just lost his other camp there, and weakened the Beastmen so we can kill them more easily. So, that works. Okay, we're making 34k right now. We didn't really gain too much right there. That's fine. We'll run. Maybe lost slightly more than we should have, whatever. Not really too concerned, honestly. We do want to remain in friendly territory here, though. Only healing 16% per turn. So it's 8% plus. 25%, 31%, 16% because of the thing that, that actually checks out here. We're only healing 16% out here. So it is a little rougher. Now, if we were able to encamp one step further, we'd actually get the full bonus. I think that's a glitch. But that is how the game currently works right now. But Greasus doesn't like, have anything, so... He doesn't like that we're fighting Greece's look. I'm sorry, dude. In theory, okay, you know what? Here's something I might be able to do. A dragon does not forget. And Xiao Ming does not forgive. 
allow military access. Yeah, you'd want 5,000 for that, but... We could befriend him greatly with that, and maybe that's what I'm gonna do. Or maybe we just go conquer Cathay. I mean, honestly, the rest of this is just pretty garbage terrain, right? That's part of the problem. It's all going to be... Wasteland, demonic stuff. Honestly, it wouldn't be a bad idea to go. I have forged a weapon. Wouldn't be a bad idea to go for Cathay, honestly. So I think I'll leave it as is. I cannot quite reach Karak as Zorn. I can reach over here, so I'm gonna go over here. Okay, so we're going to leave this here to grow a little bit because growth would actually help here. And it helps us heal slightly. Very slightly. The green knight's over there. That's uh, unfortunate for you. Okay, so this is... If you don't know, if you don't loot and occupy, like there's not that much money there, you do gain the executed captives buff, which is 100 100 XP for every unit in there, which can add up a little over time. Um. Got some more money. The wine isn't horrible. How many people are we trading with? A few. Eh, we can go with the wine, sure. Public order is good at this point since we're getting a lot from characters. Okay, you're down here. We can't hit El Kohar, whatever that is, quite yet. So I guess we come and we take over here though. I must keep my holy vow. No! We should be able to beat that without a big problem. We have uh, some magic, the main lord. And it's Bretonia Garrison, which is Surprisingly, not very good. I know that's going to shock you. What right can I even do? Right of Primeval Glory? Nah, I'm not going to do that. Right of Ferocity would be cool, though. Is this considered a minor settlement? No. I feel like I should fight this one. I don't want to lose those skinks. Every time you have to replace a unit, that's not that's money you can't be spending on uh, building infrastructure. They're pretty cheap to recruit, is the good news. But still. Let's avoid it if we can. Enforcements in six seconds. Our skinks can pretty much just start very close to them. Skinks just charge forward. Oh, if they're doing that, let's just stop here. Let's 
Yeah, these really should be starting together, because they're the garrison, but for some reason they're not right now, so... Nothing I can do about that. They're basically all broken over here. But keep in mind we've used up most of our, our javelins to do so. So we're at 955 damage. 16,000 damage. Victory losing three skink units by. Really, just having a semi decent front line supported by powerful magic is a winning combination against anything but a good army. Or at least, or maybe even, a, I, I guess, an army of like feral manticores being the top tier dark elf unit they are. That's sarcasm, by the way. I guess they would not be vulnerable to this stuff as much, but. Alright. If we pit that, it looks like it'll actually give us more money to do that. Crocar's fine, you're fine, you're fine. You're getting ready to attack next turn, you attack this turn. You are heading up, and but being prepared that this could turn into a oh, disciplined, nice. That's a good stink. They were up to level 8. The, ch the ski chief benefits from like all of those, so um, I have been too pi have not been too picky on exactly which one I get. We're going to keep recruiting. You're heading over there. You're catching up. Over here. This is also like if one army retreats, you can easily catch up. I think. Are you nearly I out keep my holy of units as well? You have very little. Okay. Alright, what can we invest? We will have to kill. It's, I think our long victory determined. We do have to kill the Bloody Hands and Exiles of Corn and Clan Wars and the. the. Uh, Oracles of Zinch, so we'll have to get ready for war down there eventually, but we're not quite there yet. I 
think getting that girl into level 4 would be a good thing. Getting that so we can upgrade would be good. We don't really need this control plus 4, we can do other things here now. Um, Dragon Isles... We're not really making this a recruiting place. There's too many valuable resources, so let's get a bit more income from, like, the ports. Krakar is heading on up. Curse of the Midnight Wind improved. At this point, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Twenty-two, and we only have twenty-one points left. Okay, so we can't get everything with the Skink Chief. I guess we should at least make sure we get the protection of the old ones. Maybe a mentor would be good as well. I do wish there's a way you could set up a predetermined, basically, way to fill this up. Okay, so at this point, we do have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 points, and we'll have 16 left, so we won't actually get all of these either. Let's grab Agility of the Lizard. Agility of the Lizard's good. Missile resistance is helpful in the case of where we're dealing with missiles. Anything new on this end? Oh, no, I assume we're going to go to war with Cathay eventually, though. Okay, well, now we have met the Oracles of Zinch. Just cheat all the treaties we have with Tlaqua over there, and I can't really condemn them too much given that they. Tlaqua declared war on them, but. I probably shouldn't. I've never actually used the Allied recruitment with Tlaqua, have I? Maybe that was a silly thing, and I still don't have a defensive alliance with the dwarfs either. Ah, well, they're a barrier to clan wars at least, right? That in itself is useful. Well, that's rude. Henry Lemassif is himself is there too, okay. How unchivalrous, just sacking it. Not even claiming land for his lady. What have the men of Petronia come to? Up to 36k. Or was that. Uh, Lucid men do not tire easily. Good, good. That stuff was ours! That should be the end of, uh, I guess it's not the end of, uh, the gold tooth. Where do you even have stuff now? <laughs> Try it. You're about to find out. He has something somewhere, apparently. I don't know where. I don't know how. So I guess the new question is, is there an indication that there's a camp? That way you can tell is that there's a raiding. But I'm not seeing raiding in this region so far. So I don't know. 
That slightly worries me, because he could come back someplace. Helmet no. forced again. His whole army there could be a bit trickier to take on. Especially since we won't have any magic. I don't know how good it is. But I think I'm going to detour over to Carrick Zorn first, is the kind of the point here. He can't reach either of those. That's fine. I will not blight my just a lot of archers. There's a lot of regiments for now, and let's see if that's Counts as good enough to win, by default. It's probably fine. He'll be able to be able to get reinforcements up here to deal with anything if needed. This should be fine. We demolished the skink thing there. That's not helping us quite the second. They're not going to be able to attack the Black Tail of Arkin, though. So we can come over here and set an ambush. Should dare him to come here. Prepare those. Lord of Fear is still recruiting. Last two units to recruit, I think, as well, right? Could use Skink Oracle recruitment. Let's get uh, Star Chamber as well. I guess that gives us. But so I guess it's plus one for the lords as well. Okay, sure. Let's do that. We're not necessarily going to recruit lords right away. We've got to think, what do we want to spend our money on first? The star chamber for determining the great plan. There are ways from being able to do that, right? That's part of the thing. Well... Maybe not that far. Let's go for this. Hero recruit rank plus two faction white is nice. Let's see if there's anything else we can do for economics first. Or rather how much more we can do for economics. I'm less concerned about right now. It doesn't look like he's a massive threat. I'm gonna go ahead and demolish this and then feel free to laugh at me when I'm wrong and he comes down with a tiny stack that barely manages to kill it. That gives us skink chief capacity, but we are right now Something we'll want for recruitment, right? I 
anything we can do for money. Doesn't look like it there. I think we're, we're waiting for that. Oh, let's see. So over here, this is definitely a... We only have two things, and it has nothing special. We don't need this, though. This is a perfect spot to get some uh, skink chiefs and star and scrying pool bonuses. Okay. We just need more money. Anything new here? Do not Burning wind nomads. Harmony is yes, we would, like, we would actually like that. Ready? Oh! Make it snappy, I've got work to do! Consider me the main threat, that's not even the entire reason, it's just one of the reasons. Jackot! Praise Arkin the Black. Okay. So our old blood got his dino mount over there. He's healing fast. What if anything where can, what where can we build with the money we have? I don't think there's anything really there we can do, or there. Or there, so I think we just hold on to the money for a turn. Next turn we'll be able to do more. Up to 37k. Honestly, just developing the territory we have right now up for a little bit might get us to the 50k mark. But obviously we're going to keep expanding. Remember something I said like at the very start, you want to bounce your recruitment needs, your hero capacity, and your income. Again, if you fight all these battles manually, the Skink Chief probably is less helpful because you don't take as many losses if you've seen when I fight manually. But at the same time, it saves a lot of valuable time, and it's not like the hero's bad in combat. Skink, well, Skink Chiefs by default aren't great, but usually you can still win. Skink Chiefs on Stegadons, or Ancient Stegadons, now those are pretty good. Huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't really care about those regiments for now. I will heal... I'm gonna wait for the Saurus anyway, I think. Eh, let's be in full strength. The other advantage to this is mean she doesn't get away. Generally speaking, that's auto resolve kills everything. Sometimes Skaven like survive. Thirty seven point seven. Alright, Crocgar, my man over here. Yeah, I have no idea where you're trying to go, Crocgar. You dare approach me. He's kind of dangerous, but could be not. I'm not too scared of him. Do they have any diplomatic contact with him? Oh, they really hate each other. Oh, being not going to war with Grimbor might help. Do not disgrace yourself by begging for But I don't. Life. I think you have to. Yeah, I have to declare war on him directly. Do you like the treaties? Okay, so I'm gonna uh, declare war on Grimgor. Is it this turn, I guess? Or. Can't get there this turn, so it's not gonna be this turn. Do I think my army is in good enough shape to deal with, like, Lord Croak right now? Well, we're going to do some science, I guess. So we're gonna come over here. Dark And 
and then what do I care about most? Getting Lord Croak in this army would be good. That's a rough fight. But our troops, even even our lowly Osaurus warriors here are the ones we got recently. A rank. They're all at least like 65% strength, right? And we have very powerful lords and heroes. I think we can probably do this. Does Lord Croak get us 5,000 gold and unlock hero Lord Croak? I want to get hand. I think we do hand to the gods first. Lord Croak's good. The army's kind of fine, though. Let's do this. Let's get it's an extra. It's extra growth. Damn high elves meddling with things they should not be meddling with. Elf servants have blasphemed not just by leaving Ulth One, but by daring to interfere with the cosmic gates. An ancient device that can open a portal into the realm of chaos. Should have stayed on Ulthuan, where you're supposed to be as part of the great plan. Is this something that looks like elves should be messing with? No, is the answer. Leave it alone. Skink. Let's go deal with their artillery Dodger gets zapped. The choice is yours. You decided for the get zapped option.
We've got a lot of magic here, so we're doing fine. Pretty well. The Swordmasters actually are scary. They have higher armor and armor piercing. And they can hit our SARS, but fortunately we have better heroes and lords and stuff. Better magic. That should have them all attack something. Looks like it. I was correct. Okay. Something I can reasonably hit without causing too much friendly fire damage. Let's just, uh, let's don't do this. Let's experiment a little. There, now you can't hit anything. Get you out of there, too. Oh, that's a problem over there. We gotta go deal with those sword masters. Oh, holy cow, there's a whole lot of friends back here. Okay, um, I completely did not see that. There's the other mage over there, okay. 
You're gonna land, dragon. You make me try to come up there for you. Sword as it's. It's our soul. Kai is up. Thoros. Thoros tag. Go for I did not even notice those reinforcements arrive, so I uh, took a little bit more losses than I would have liked there, but oh well. Oh! I can't. They must have come all the way from the back! Oh man! I did not even see that happen to the Cold One Spear Riders. Oh, poor Cold Cord. Poor Cold One Spear Riders, you've been with me since day one. They shall leave a void that is only going to be fulfilled, filled by Lord Croak, I guess. Well, I, I completely did not, I, I was paying no attention to them because I just thought I was putting them out of the way. I completely did not see that. 193 gold, I don't think we're going to take that, we're going to take the healing. Okay, now do I have any movement left? I actually do. Which means if I can camp here, I'll get a lot of replenishment. Yeah, 41. Okay, Hand of Gods is an enchanted item. Which means... Let's try to give some other stuff out here. Okay, so we start with our lord here. And... Let's just check through everything. Okay, that's actually something we can use there. Honestly, when fighting, I mean, I guess it's something. It's just not very useful. Oh, hey, you get that and that. You can get that. Okay, Krakgar is healing good. We are getting ready to attack up here. I'm not going to be able to take this right now. Um, but I, so they'll be able to force me back, but I think this... It then stops them from recruiting a turn. I'll take some slight attrition. But then I have this other army coming in. With that, I feel confident we can storm the castle and win. Graveguard. I guess they don't really have anything that crazy, do they? My duck. Is it would this be worth fighting? They have Grave Guard, I mean that's significant. They have what effectively 
34 and 36. We have 46 and 39, and we also hit harder and have not quite as much armor. That actually, it actually, without any magic and without... I guess that is an ancient Stegodon, it looks like. Okay, you can... No, it can't be. It's an ancient Stegodon. That must be the, the flying guy. Yeah, without a Stegodon on the Skink Chief. I don't know. I might be able to win. I mean, the zombies aren't, they aren't the problem. We'd have to chew through all the Grave Guard. If we had magic, I'd feel better. If we had, like, caster that to help snipe the, the high-value targets, I'd feel better, but we don't, so... Okay, so we're chilling over here. And, okay, well... Valius de Leonez is gone. Okay, Volkmar the Grim is trying to recoup, recuperate, so we don't want that to happen. Tickle. Take the awakening. We're gonna go chill over there. Who art caught? And we are going to want to be able to attack out here. You can see that we're healing. I can't reach that unless I go fairly deep into his territory. Which I want to do. Oh, can't even reach him this turn. It's the irony. Alright, is there anything we can actually get in one turn that's useful from Allied Recruitment? One turn, probably not. So, let's just call in another pair of skinks, I guess. Um, that looks like multiple armies up there, so I'm going to start heading in that direction. We should be able to stand up reasonably well to anything the elves throw at us. Help us get our geometric web up to strength three. There's another skink chief. Skink recruitment. Let's look at economy bonuses. Uh, we should get that. That's a little bit of money. That's quite a bit of money. That's money, that's money. Money, not much there, but hey, it's something. Actually make the scrying pool. Upgrade that. Okay, so we're at 37.4 now. I think we started this at like 33k or something. Siege equipment. It's fine. Double check. Crop guard. Healing. I can honestly just stay here and go for like Lord Croak next turn, I guess. Just knock these out. Take advantage of the full healing in enemy territory when encamped. Scar veteran is yeah, trying to come up to here. 
Accepted. Okay, I think that's fine. Rock our ancient cunning. Thinking now we can go ahead and click that. Skink chief. Let's definitely go for mentor. We want to help these other skink chiefs level up. We've honored elder, right? Yeah. Yeah, we are up to how much are we up to globally on public order right now? We have Is it only eight? So Krokgar gives five by himself. We only have three others? Okay, and it is what it is. Alright. Honestly, a lot of the Saurus, it just takes so long until you really start getting bonuses up. A lot of these just aren't even that great. One thing that is good is over here. Plus 10% casualty recruitment. I would like that in these, but we gotta get all... This just gotta go through so much. Yeah, the great plans just gotta proceed, you know what I'm saying? But armor five and missile resistance ten for SAR students, that'd be nice. Melee attack plus five, yeah. So we'll try to, we're not gonna hit both of that in this particular game because again this game's probably gonna end by turn eighty five or so at this point, I think is what we'll maybe earlier. I mean, I might contend continue. Obviously. But let's just get to the start of the start turn here. Teclas is declaring war, probably. It is declaring war, yes. Alright, so as soon as we're done with this peninsula over here, we gotta go to deal with Teclas. I think we're making like 10k a turn right now, right? So. I'm not actually kind of amusing to use the writer for me of glory. I think we can afford it. Real. Walk straight through the ambush. Straight through it. Declaring war on me? Yes. Okay. They did not declare war on me on those vampires, though. How interesting. Not declare war. Attack me from the settlement. They guess they didn't feel they could take me in the open field either. Maybe I could have won that battle. It would have been a slog. I would have felt better if I, like I said, I had any kind of magic or better mount. Okay, so here we are. Happy populace. Nice. So, he rudely sacked Xandri. But we are 37.5, partly because Xandri was sacked. We'll pick up next time. Let's go.